Well, SOCOM's a team-based game. It was created in association with Naval Special Warfare. Working with the SEALs, it became obvious that they work as a team. And they really, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big part of what they do. They need to depend on the guy next to them. They need to be able to know that he's been very well trained and can, can take a, a big part of the burden on any mission. And so we thought it was a really good idea for a game. You can go out there and use your AI teammates and have them be a, a functioning part of your team and be able to go out and complete objectives for you, and clear rooms and do other types of things. Well, online you have uh, 16 players and you have a team of SEALs versus team of terrorists, eight players on each team. We have three different game modes. We have demolition where you there's a satchel charge in the center of the level. So you have to, each team has to try and grab that satchel charge and plant it at the other team's base. Then if you plant the charge, obviously you want to defend it, prevent the other team from defusing it. We also have hostage rescue and uh, suppression where the objective is just to eliminate everyone else on the other team. The USB headsets, uh, we use it a lot in single player game. You use it to command your AI teammates. So you can give them voice commands just by talking to them. You can tell them to go to a certain point in the map. You can tell them to fire at will, hold their fire. You can tell them to deploy devices such as uh, flashbangs and grenades wherever you're pointing. So the headset plays a key part in really allowing you to communicate effectively with your teammates in single player. And you also hear back through the headset, through the headphone and the headset, uh, things from the headquarters or your teammates responding. So it really adds another level of immersion in the single player game. Then in the multiplayer, of course, we use that for voice communication over the internet. So you'll be able to talk to your teammates and give them commands, tell them what to do, and ha have them talk back to you and create strategies and really work together as a team in online as well. We try to make it as easy as possible. So you log into a lobby, you can see a number of rooms there. Uh, by default, we had it as like, uh, you know, US East, US Central, US West. Uh, you can see how many people are in each room. So you go ahead and select a room and it shows all the games listed. And you can uh, select any game which fits uh, any of your criteria. And we put simple, we can simplify that by having it auto select the game for you or you can filter out games that you know don't interest you if you want to play only demolition maps you can filter for just demolition maps or you can just see a whole list and of the games available how many people are playing them in them what your ping time is like to that to that game and so on uh, socom is broadband only because of the voice chat and we wanted to make sure that latency wasn't an issue as well as anyone knows that plays any type of game with instant action or you know machine guns are really bad over an analog modem you'll tend to just shoot at somebody and it doesn't feel like you're hitting them so since we're dealing with a console market with a game which has you know really fast weapons instant hit weapons and the voice chat we felt it would be best just to go broadband only with this title